To work with a user interface in Unity, we need to use a canvas. If you have never worked with user interfaces, you're going to realize that what we see right now is being drawn by a main camera. If you look at the scene window, you can see this camera symbol here, but this is used to render game elements. So 3D elements are going to be rendered, uh, basic uh, 2D objects like sprites are going to be rendered here as well. But this is not used for, for interface. Okay, For interface, Unity has a whole set of things that you can use and uh, lots of um, util functions and components that you can use so you can align things properly. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the canny folder that was extracted, Okay, our mobile game assets. And you're going to see that there are a few folders here. And there's this UI pack. This one contains lots of user interface elements that we can use. Okay, we have lots of buttons, we have checkboxes if you want to use. We can use some of these elements here as panels, so we can have a little bit of fun with this. Okay, if you click on the PNG folder, you're going to see all of these elements that can be used. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with them. Okay, so anyway, let's make a new canvas. In this scene here, I'm going to right click choose user interface and then we're going to choose canvas. All of the other elements here except for the event system, uh, all of them they need to be inside the canvas so they can be rendered because there are user interface elements. So if we click on canvas you're going to notice that the hierarchy added two things canvas and event system. If you double click on the canvas you notice that this looks like a different camera. Okay, It's a different rectangle Okay, so if you double click the main camera, you're going to look at this rectangle here. And if you double click on the canvas, you see this one here. Uh, this one is special because it's not going to render game elements. It only renders UI elements. You can even see it's in the user interface layer here. Okay, And we have some components here as well. But before we even look at them, we want to add a few things. Okay. So for instance, if you want to add a text inside the canvas, you can right click here choose UI and then text. Once you do this a new element is going to appear in your scene and it's going to be automatically selected here in the inspector and what we can do is rename this text to mobile game development. We're going to increase the size of this as well so I'm going to click on this blue button here hold the alt or the option button to scale things properly and make it look like this and once we do it like this, we're going to change a few settings. So font size, I'm going to use 42. If you click here in this circle, uh, in the right side of the area of font, you can choose another one. So we have some fonts already packed in this asset package. So I'm going to choose this one, can vector future thin. Okay. And uh, we might need to increase the size a little bit. So let's do it like this. I'm going to center align it here here as well. Uh, as for the color, let's use white here. Okay. And if you look at the scene, it looks like this. Okay. If you select the game window, you can see the text here in the middle. Okay. But you notice that there are two things here. One of these things is this blue background is being rendered by the camera. Okay. If you select the main camera in the hierarchy and look at the camera component, you see it look like this. If I click here, you can select a dark blue or black color. So it's going to look a little bit different. Okay, So it works like this. Perfect. Uh, and the text that you see here in the game window is rendered by the canvas. This is a very simple example. Just adding a very basic test text to this game. Okay, Right now in the game window we are in free aspect. If we go to 4 by 3 the text is going to be centered. It's going to fit here properly. And if it's if we use 16 by 9, it's going to fit properly as well. Let's go back to 4 by 3. A common problem, actually let's use 16 by 9. A common problem here is uh, some beginner developers, they make things, they don't, they don't care much about the size of these things. So for example, let's say the text was this large, okay, this big. And let's change the text here to Mobile Game Development 2017 and let's say something else here, uh, plus gold, for example, just some random text. If you look at the game window, it's going to look great. Okay, the text fits here. 
The problem is, if you make your entire game with the text fitting this entire screen like this, and let's say you generate a build, you, you test in an iPhone 8, for example, you see that it's looking great, then you submit to the store, uh, you're going to have a huge problem because if people with iPads play this game, they're not going to see this in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is not the case. They're going to see this in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And this can be a deal breaker for you because the text is now can't be seen completely. So this could be bad for your tutorials, this could be bad for your gameplay, some buttons might never be reached, maybe you can't pause the game, you can't press play, lots of things are going to be invisible to the player. So one very important basic thing that you have to care about is, you have to develop your game thinking that it should be uh, visible in widescreen devices, okay, so people with widescreen devices would see the game fine, but if you use a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, things should be visible as well. So what you need to care about is, you have, let's move to 16 by 9, you have a visible screen, this is the maximum aspect ratio that we have, but we have another size here, we have another invisible rectangle, okay, it's, it's a little bit of uh, theory here, it's like we have another invisible rectangle here that this is the area where everything should be visible. So for these kinds of games, it's important that, you, that you, you develop them in the shortest aspect ratio available for your target devices, of course. So we need to make this game always thinking about 4x3. Okay, so we can see things properly. And if you change the aspect ratio in the game window and move back to the scene window, you will instantly see how things are going to look like. Okay, we can see that this text is no longer fitting in the canvas area. So this actually needs to be shorter like this. So it can be seen in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio and in a 16 by 9 as well. Okay, this is the most important thing that you have to worry about right now. Okay, now there's another thing, it, it, it's, uh, it, this is actually kind of interesting. If you use this font size in your computer, it might look a bit different from you, okay, from, from what you're seeing here. This, this text is occupying around 20% of the height of my screen. But if you're using a device, if you're, if you're developing in a computer that has a, 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 a smaller resolution, you might notice that the text is occupying a lot of space. Or if you are using a 4K monitor, for example, the text might look a bit tiny. So there's another tip that I can give to you is, if you want to see, if you want to test different resolutions, not just aspect ratios, you can click here in this button and choose maximize. Look what happened. Okay, this is a, it's a bit uh, difficult to understand at first, but once you, you realize, you're going to notice that this is also really important. The text is now really small. Actually, the size of the text has been preserved from what we've seen in the non-maximized screen. Okay, the size is the same, but if you look at it relatively to the screen, it's much shorter. Right now, this text occupies around 20% of the screen, and if you maximize, it's occupying like 10% of the screen. This is another deal breaker for some games, because if you play a game in an iPad 2, for example, the iPad 2 has a resolution of 1024 pixels of width and 769 pixels of height. But if you use this in an iPad Mini 4 or in an iPad Air or even in an iPad Pro, things are going to look really, really, really tiny, really tiny. Okay, I can't stress this enough. So it's another thing that you have to care about. And for this, Unity has something pretty interesting built in for us. I want you to look at the canvas game object right now in the hierarchy. Once you select it, we're going to look here at the inspector. We have a few settings, we have a few components here. We have the canvas component, which is fine. We have the graphic ray caster, and we have the canvas scaler, which is pretty important for what we are going to do. If you look here, the UI scale mode right now is constant pixel size, okay? So pretty much nothing is going to be changed if you if you resize your screen, okay? The, the size of the text is going to be the same, okay? So this is an, an even quicker way to, to see this happening. The size that we see here is always the same, but even if you change the screen size, 
uh, well, it's not going to resize. So we have to use the canvas scaler without using the constant pixel size. We're going to change this to scale with screen size. Okay. So when we do this, first of all, we have to set a reference resolution. So for instance, if you are developing this game for a, a full HD resolution, you would have to change this to 1920 on X and on Y, 1080. Okay, so this is going to be the basic resolution. It, it is very important that you talk with your game's artist, or if you are doing everything by yourself, you, you, you need to check this as well. Uh, this reference resolution should be the one that the artist or yourself are using to make the game art assets. Okay, so they're not going to suffer any resize problems. They're not going to suffer any aliasing problems. Okay, so when we use the scale of screen size here, you notice that there is a screen match mode. It's saying match width or height, and right now it's saying match the width of the game. Okay, so look at this now. Right now we're using a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If we change to 4 by 3, the text is still shrinking. The thing is, the way we are developing this little test scene here is the game is landscape. Okay, the, the game works in a landscape mode, so that means that the horizontal resolution is larger than the vertical resolution. So we shouldn't be matching the width, because if we change the aspect ratio of the game, the width is going to change and the text is going to still be scaling. This is not something that we want to happen. We want the text to look like it has the same size. So instead of matching the width, we're going to grab this slider and slide it all the way to one. So it's going to match the height entirely. So the text is looking like this in 16 by nine. If I change it to four by three, it's still the same thing. Okay, let's try that again, 16 by nine, and then four by three. And what if I change the resolution of the screen? the text is going to be scaling along with the screen size. So if it's a really uh, short screen size, the height of this text is going to look like this. If you work on a bigger resolution, it's going to look like this, occupying roughly the same percentage of the vertical area. If you maximize, it's going to scale up. Okay. This is very important because this is consistency. You need to, to worry about making the same experience, okay, roughly the same experience, independently of what, this, of what devices players are using. It doesn't matter if they're using a high resolution uh, devices, low resolution devices, things should look roughly the same. This is really important for you to care about. Okay? And now just another comment, if you're developing a portrait game, instead of using 4x3 and 16x9 aspect ratios, you would use 3x4 and 9x16. Okay, it's a bit different. So if we were on a 9x16 one, then we would want to match the width. Okay, but as we're using this in a landscape mode, we're going to match the height. Okay, so let's move back to 4x3 here. Okay, so you see something really simple here. We're just adding a text and we still have a lot to talk about. These are really important concerns for you. Okay, so you have to define a reference resolution depending what devices you're targeting for your game to work. You need to set the screen match mode to match width or height and make everything match the height. And once you're done with this setup, you can go back to the scene window and resize this text if you want. I'm going to give it a little bit more area here. I'm going to increase the font size as well to 62 and I'm just going to use mobile game development okay like this so something even simpler 4x3 16 by 9 everything is working fine okay so in the next video we're going to talk about another user interface concern uh, we're going to talk about anchoring so at this point what I wanted to do is, uh, in, a, in an effort for you not to lose the work you just had, we're going to the project folder here in assets. I'm going to create another folder called project. And inside project, another folder called scenes. Okay, so create folder, scenes. We're going to enter the scenes folder. And now in Unity, we're going to hit Ctrl S or Command S or file save scene. Once we do this, we're going to our browser here, mobile game development, assets, project, scenes, and then I'm going to save this scene as just UI. 
Once we hit save, our scene is going to be saved here. And after every lesson, let's remember to save this scene so we don't lose anything. Okay? So let's move on to the next lesson.